Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video of chapter 2 chemistry semester 1 SK015. Okay, so before we're going to look further into this chapter, okay, I just want to emphasize some things lah. Because I know um, there are some of you, um, I know there are some yang printed out the notes itself. There are certain of you who, are, uh, who written down the notes on a piece of paper or on a book. Uh, it's just that for this uh, chapter 2, we do have a lot of explanation. So, banyak words lah. Uh, so, you have, uh, kalau kamu tulis, uh, just bear with it. But no worries, there are certain diagram ataupun there are certain words yang it's just I'm going to explain, nak introduce kepada kamu. But the one that is the important concept, I'm going to emphasize uh, which one yang kamu patut tulis, which one yang if you want to write it down, it's fine. Kalau tak tulis pun, uh, tak apa. Uh, macam itulah. Okay, so for the chapter 2 exam structure ni, for the new students, um, it's completely new because unlike chapter 1, um, I believe you are familiar with some of the terms itself during the secondary school. Tapi yang ini memang exam structure ni lah, benda yang completely new. Okay, kalau yang returning students ataupun PG3, you have learned it during your semester 1 dahululah. Okay, I hope you're familiar with this. Kalau tak familiar, jomlah kita familiar kan sama-sama. Okay, so for this chapter 2, it's actually there are 3 subtopic. So in this video, we're going to look for 2.1, Bors Atomic Modern. Okay, and what we're going to look at is actually um, 3 of the learning outcome, which is first one, we're going to describe the atomic model itself. We're going to explain the existence of energy level in an atom and calculate the energy of an electron using this formula. So formula ni, you have to memorize. Okay, so without further ado, let's look here. For Bohr's atomic model, it's actually proposed by a scientist uh, called Neil Bohr. Uh, sebab itulah nama dia, Bohr's atomic model. It's because his theory itself that we're going to learn. Okay, so for the Bohr's atomic model ni, mostly uh, it's applied for hydrogen atom ataupun any one electron atom. Uh, so, one electron atom yang paling famous, yang paling basic is actually our hydrogen. Okay, so this may ada four theories. Okay, uh, Yang ni postulate ni sebenarnya maksudnya teori lah but it's another fancy word of saying a theory. So, the postulate number one. So, the first theory that he proposed is actually the electron moves in circular orbit around the nucleus without radiating or absorbing any energy. So, like your planet orbiting around your sun kan? Kamu mesti macam tu lah. When nucleus is your sun and kiranya all the electron tu is actually all your planets there. So, that the n equal to 1, n equal to 2, 3, 4, uh, boleh lagi banyak lagi. 5, 6, until infinity. It could be any values lah. And starting from 1. Okay. And then, while it's orbiting, it does not radiate. Uh, radiate ni masa dia macam produce lah. Uh, maknanya dia tak ada bagi apa-apa energy. Ataupun, it does not radiate, and does not produce any, nor does it absorb any energy. Uh, so, kiranya electronic minding is on business on its own orbit. Ha, macam ni lah. Ni call the orbit ataupun I'm going to call it as shell. Okay. So, that's the first theory. The second theory mentioned that, okay, tadi kita kata is orbiting around the nucleus kan? Each of the electron ni. And the energy, uh, and the energy of the electron around the, apa ni, around the shell here is quantized. Okay, quantized tu, so it means that it is fixed. Um, Ataupun quantize ni, maksudnya, it's actually from quantity and quantize. It has its own value itself. And we can calculate the value of the energy ni. Ha, ini kita akan belajar the first formula for chapter 2. E N, E stands for energy. N is equal to number of shell kita lah. 1 ke, 2 ke, 3 ke, 4 ke, 8 ke, apa boleh juga. Equal to negative RH. Negative ni sebenarnya, it means that because nucleus kita ni ada um, ada positive charge, ada proton dekat situ kan and this is actually our electron so actually there's an attraction between our nucleus dengan electron so that's why lah we have to write down the negative sign in the formula itself we include the negative sign RH is your right bird constant which is a uh, which 2.18 exponent negative 18 you don't have to memorize it's there in the list of constant and it's the unit is in joule because energy Okay, divide by, uh, times by 1 over n squared. Okay, n tu, the number of shell tu lah. 1 ke, 2 ke, ataupun energy level. Uh, shell ataupun energy level. Okay, so, um, 
Folders yang ha, lupa boleh. Eh, folder suri turn down the notes itself. Tak perlu pun lukis ni. Ha, tapi kalau nak lukis, better lukis yang potential energy ni. Okay, so um, as we go on further, kamu takkan nampak banyak pasal shell ni tau. In terms of yang ni. Ha, in terms of this shell. Kita akan tengok in terms of energy level ni. It's actually the energy level diagram. Kita akan tengok pada sini. Okay, so energy level diagram ni. What we have is actually y axis is our potential energy. Uh, kamu tak perlu, you don't have to write down the value. Uh, dia memang potential energy, you just gonna label the y-axis is potential energy sahaja. And then, for your x-axis, you gonna start with n equal to 1. So, kat sini kamu bukan buat jadi ni 0, it's not. The first one is actually n equal to 1. Sebab our shell ataupun energy level start with 1. And then, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, ikutlah. Masa paling selamat buat sampai 6. But actually, kat sini, Miss Lukis sampai infinity, kan? Okay, it's just that for those who written down on a piece of paper, make sure each of the, apa ni, uh, each of the N tu, makin lama gap dia makin kecil. Uh, make sure, kalau contohnya dekat sini, gap between N and 2, 1, 2, 2 ni, uh, for example, you, the gap dia adalah 2 lines, kan? Uh, yang ni, make sure ni, gap dia 1, 1 and a half line. Uh, yang ni, gap dia 1 line sahaja. Uh, macam tu lah, just make sure that uh, as the N increases, uh, the energy level gap tu makin lama makin kecil. Uh, tu je, kalau kamu kena, if you um, have to uh, draw it again on your notes. Uh, siapa yang print pun kena take it to account eh, because later, when you do pass your question ataupun example, uh, kamu kena draw lah the energy level diagram. Uh, so, kita takkan nampak shell ni, banyaknya dia bagi tahu in terms of this. Ha, sebab nak lukis bulat ni, uh, nanti uh, gigi lah pula nak bulat betul-betul lah, nak cantik-cantik lah. Ha, so, we draw it in terms of this one. Okay, so sekarang ni we do have learn about the formula. What we're going to do now is actually we're going to calculate. As we mentioned that actually we can know the um, the energy of the electron itself. Kalau kat 1, 2, 3, 4. So, let's do the calculation. I'm just going to do it once. Uh, yang 2 dengan 3 ni, you can do yourself. So, dia kata kat sini. Calculate the energy of an electron in the second energy level of hydrogen atom. So, bila dekat sini, dikata second energy level. So, N is actually equal to, hmm, second N equal to 2. Okay, so how to calculate it? So, kita just copy, paste sahaja. Oh, kamu kena tulis baliklah the formula. Okay, and then kita kira lah. Okay, so this is energy. Okay, and kita in this case is actually N equal to 2. Right word constant kita is a 2.18 exponent negative 18. So, um, 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 2.18 exponent negative 18. 1 over n squared. So, n ni is actually 2 kan? So, here is 2 squared. Okay. And then, we get the value of energy at uh, n equal to 2 is a. Ni Miss Rupa tak negatif ni. Haa, negatif. Okay, so negatif 5.45 exponent negatif 19 joule. Okay. So, that's it uh, for the calculation. Ha. Straightforward sahaja. Kita masukkan dalam formula. Make sure determine what is your N. And make sure ada negative sign. And um, the unit since this energy is joule. So, example 2 and 3. You could do it yourself. Example pun straight. Uh, dia punya example straightforward. Jawapan pun sudah ada. Okay, now let's look for postulate 3. Okay, so we know that actually electron is moving around the nucleus like an, uh, like an, an orbit. And actually at its own energy level diagram, energy level ataupun as in at its own shell tu. Uh, apa ni? The energy is quantized where we can calculate. Okay. So, uh, the theory number 3 is that the when the electron absorbs light energy, so, uh, bila dia absorb light energy, maksud dia, dia punya energy bertambah lah kan, it will move from the low energy level to a higher energy level. So, for example, lower energy level, it could be N to 1, 2 pun boleh, 3 pun boleh. Kita tengok lah, depends pada question tu sendiri. Tapi, contohnya dalam case ni, uh, for this yang energy level diagram tu, yang lower energy level kita, kita akan ambil yang N equal to 1 lah. Okay, so for example, bila dia um, at the uh, lower energy level that N equal to 1, it could move to 2, it could move to 3, eh, uh, 3, 4, uh, 5, nanti infinity lah. Kalau dia N equal to 2, the electron itself is N equal to 2, uh, dia akan 
uh, jump from A to 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5. But you can't, uh, tak boleh lah pada 2 per 1, uh, tidak boleh. Okay, so for those who write down your own notes, uh, tak perlu draw yang ni. It's just that make sure you know that lower energy level, uh, usually we call it as a ground state. Higher energy level, we call it as the excited state. So lower, lower, um, ataupun lowest energy level ni, ground state ni yang macam kalau kita naik, naik flat, flat naik, naik apa nama tu? Ha, naik lift. Okay, kalau kita naik lift, bawah sekali is ground, ground floor kan? Ha, macam tu lah. Okay, tapi bila kita naik lift, tak adalah atas kita panggil excited floor tak, tak, tak. Ha, it's just that, we know that maksud, maksud kalau for excited state, it means that higher than our uh, ground state. Okay, so that's postulate, postulate number 3. Ha, yang ini bila dia absorb ni, kita tak nak kira apa-apa lagi. Okay, postulate number 4. So, kita kata dekat sini, electron at its excited state, ataupun I'm just going to write down higher energy level, energy level is unstable. Okay, so bila dia un unstable, so for example, this one n equal to 1, jump to n equal to 3. But then it's not unstable. What will happen is that it will fall back. Dia akan fall back kepada mana? Dia akan fall back to mana originally the electrons from. Contohnya, if it's actually from 1, jump to 3. Ha, nanti dia akan jump balik, dia akan jump to 1 balik. It does not occur macam 1, two, one 2, 3. Pasal tiba-tiba, 3 tu dia jump, uh, apa, fall back to 2. It's not. Mana dia originally, dia fall back. Uh, originally, the electrons from contohnya n equal to 1, so dia akan fall back to n equal to 1. Okay, so when it fall back to lower energy level, it will releases a specific amount energy in the form of light. So nanti the energy, uh, tadi kita kata the absorb, bila the fall back, energy is released. Okay, in the form of light or we call it as photon. Okay, and then this energy, when the energy is released, uh, we can calculate the value itself. Uh, so yang ni kita calculate lagi sekali. Okay, yang ini formula that you have to memorize. Okay, so yang ini is just um, how uh, the formula works. Macam mana kita dapat is actually, ni mesti just tunjuk derivation. Final minus initial. Okay, so yeah, final minus initial. Dalam kes ni, final ni yang final the fallback tu lah. Initial tu the original one. So right now we're calculating when energy is released ni eh. Okay, so this is actually the formula that we have learned from postulate tu. Okay, so bila kita dah masukkan, kita dah use the formula itself. Okay, and then ni minus, ni minus minus, minus minus plus kan. And then we're going to rearrange this one. Ha, yang ini akan ke sini, this one ke sini. Okay, so kita akan dapatlah this formula. Okay, this formula is um, delta E is equal to RH. Okay, this time around dia tak ada negatif eh. But no worries, when you calculate itself, nanti ada bagi tahu negative value. So, kat sini we get negative value lah. Sepatutnya kamu akan dapat negatif. Kalau tak dapat negatif tu, tak tahulah. Negative value ni, so tadi bila, for this time around, you mention the negative is actually because the attraction between the nucleus and the electron. Negative value dekat sini, it means that the energy is released. Energy is released. Ha, so, kena ada negative value itself. So, kat sini dia kata 1 squared minus 2 squared. Kes ni, 1 is must be bigger than... 2. So, maknanya number 1 tu yang mesti yang uh, is a bigger one. Ataupun dia boleh jadi initial minus final. Okay, initial final tu yang mana satu? Remember, this is actually about postulate number 4. Bila the fallback tu kan? So, dalam kes ni, initial kita, initial kita is actually 3, final kita is equal to 1 because we're calculating when the energy is released. Ha, yang ini kita calculate kan? Initial the 3, Finally, is 1. Ha, up to you lah which one kamu nak ingat. Yang 1 bigger than 2 ataupun initial minus final. Okay. So, um, for those yang tulis tu, kalau rajin, ha, tulislah semua ni balik. Kalau tak rajin, misunderstood, misfaham je. Ha, tulislah this formula itself. Okay. So, let's do the first uh, calculation. Yang lain straightforward. Tapi kita boleh buat. Um, yang first one is sama. So, what is the energy difference between n equal to 1 and n equal to 3? Okay, so we know that the formula. Okay, so dia kata kat sini the energy difference. So, between we, uh, we're doing bit, uh, the two energy levels. So, we have to calculate yang ada delta E lah. Difference kan? Delta 
E. Yeah, it's uh, concerning two different energy level. So we're going to use this formula. Okay, so between n equal to 1 and n equal to 3. So we know that uh, yang mana satu yang akan drop. Contohnya, sini kita ada kita punya, we have our energy level diagram kan. Okay, uh, we know that uh, mana satu satu, mana satu tiga. Satu dekat sini, tiga dekat sini. Uh, tak, it's not tiga sini, satu sini. Macam kita punya x and y axis kita kan. Okay, and no, then we know that it will drop. For example, it akan drop kat sini lah. Okay, so mana satu initial, mana satu final. This it will be our initial. This one will be our final. So, ni initial. This one will be final. Okay, so yang ni kalau mesti guna yang initial minus final. If you want to use 1 minus 2. Uh, 1, 2, eh sorry. Kalau kat sini. ha. Kalau dekat sini, 1 minus 2. And 1, 2 must be bigger. Ha. So, which one is the bigger value? Ha. Sebab yang kalau bigger value. Ni n equal to 1, n equal to 2. Ha, so, buatlah yang 1 minus 2. Yang ni mesti buat initial minus final. Ha, sebab nanti kamu tak confuse. Nanti ada lagi yang lain pula. Okay, so initial minus final. Initial kita is 3, final kita is equal to 1. So, negative value does not uh, need to be in here. Sebab we have rearranged the equation. Satu tak ada negative. But the answer, the negative sign. So, negative E equal to RH kita 2.18. Masa lagi 2.18 exponent negative 18. 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over 1 squared. So, delta E kita we will get negative 1.94 exponent negative 18 joule. Okay, so as we can see here when we calculate this question. Even though we do not mention about, um, apa ni, even though we do not mention uh, the negative charge dalam kita punya formula, final answer ni kita akan dapat negative. So, it means that actually when the uh, electron fall from 3 to 1, the energy is released. Okay, so yang ini, you could try yourself. Depends on you. Tapi, mesti aku guna yang initial minus final lah kot. Okay, between this one. And question number 3. So, the the answer is there. Okay. So, I believe you could do it yourself. That's the last. Uh, that's the last part for the Bohr's postulate. But no worries. Kalau masih boleh lagi yang postulate 1 until 4, nanti kita akan jumpa lagi. Okay. So, that's it.